Hi, welcome to another edition of The Walker's Way. I'm Brian with Walker's General Services out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a spill pan underneath a washing machine. So if you ever try to figure out how to get a washing machine in or out of a spill pan without breaking the pan, I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you the easy way. I'm gonna show you the right way. I'm gonna show you the Walker's Way. All right, today I'm going to show you how to install a pan underneath your washing machine, or if you have one that's broken, how to replace it. And I'm going to show you how to get the washer out of the old pan and into the new pan without breaking the pan. So now, why would you want to put a pan underneath your washing machine? Well, the most common reason is if you're on the second floor, or your laundry room is on the second floor, if it leaks, you don't want it to leak down below and cause a lot of water damage into, say if you're in a condo like this is, into the unit down below, which you're going to be responsible for. Or if you're in a house and your laundry room's upstairs, you want it to flood down into your first floor and cause a lot of water damage. So you want to put a, a spill pan underneath it. And normally when it's located on the second floor, there's a drain underneath the washing machine. So, and then you just need to hook that drain up to the pan. So we're going to find out if there's a drain under this one. We're going to put this pan under there. I'm going to show you how to get the washing machine out and in. Now normally if it doesn't have a pan, you can just slide it out. Unfortunately, this one has bifold doors on it, and it's got a track on the bottom that's higher than the floor. So if we try to lift it and set it on this track, we're going to dent it, and then the doors aren't going to open and close. So we need to get the washing machine out of the alcove here without damaging this track put the pan in and then put the washer back in the pan without breaking the ends of the pan. That's a common thing. People try to, you know, put them into the pan and they set them on the edges here and then they break and then, well, the pan doesn't do you any good then. I mean, it's supposed to be waterproof. It catches the water, drains it out. If it's broken, it's not doing its job. So I'm going to show you how to get this out. Get the pan in, hook it up to the drain, and the washer back in the pan, all without breaking the pan or denting the track in the floor. Yeah, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and disconnect your, uh, your washing machine. So we disconnected the water hoses. Make sure you turn the water off first, obviously. And pull the drain pipe out, unplug it, and get it ready. Slide it as far forward as you can. So if it's in a pan, slide it to the front of the pan. In this case, in the room, we're sliding it up uh, to just before the track in the bottom here. That gives us some room in the back to be able to tilt it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take two pieces of this PVC tubing. So you want the tubing to be taller than your pan. So this pan is about an inch and a half high. This is uh, tubing is two inch tubing, so it's actually about two and a half inches. So it's a lot higher than the pan, which is what you want. And it's higher than the lip down here. So we got two sections here. One of them's a little shorter than the other because you know we want it to fit inside the pan, and the other one can be a little longer because it goes outside. So the first thing we're gonna do is just tilt the unit back put one PVC underneath it on this side and one on the outside and all we're going to do is we're just going to roll it forward now so there you go so now it's on both of them we're going to roll it forward until it's on the front one we're going to keep it tilted forward roll it out and that's all there is to it now it's outside so we'll go ahead and tilt it back take our PVC out from underneath it and we can let it down so we can slide it out of the way. There's no drain on this one. So in other words, if this thing leaks, water's got nowhere to go. Normally there's a uh, drain pipe in the floor. You would drill a hole in the pan here. There's a fitting you put in here and that goes into the drain down there, but uh, we got no drain. So we're gonna put the pan under there and the pan will be able to catch some water. So hopefully when it starts to leak, um, it doesn't leak more water than the pan will, will hold and you'll be able to notice that there's water in here first Give you time to shut the water off to the washing machine uh, before it overflows So let's go ahead and get the pan in there and I'll show you how to get the washing machine into the pan without breaking the pan All right, so we just dropped the pan down in there So we'll just put our short piece in, in the pan We'll get our washing machine moved on over here Thank you. 
and then we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to stick this underneath the washing machine so we can move it until it's back. Get our PVC underneath it. Now we can tilt it forward. So now it's on the PVC in the back. So now it's kind of like two rollers. We roll it in. And now we're inside. We can slide it on the pan as long as we keep that PVC that's in the pan in place so the washer doesn't hit on the lip of the pan. Once we got it far enough in, we're going to tilt it back, pull that PVC out, and then we can put the washer down. So, we're actually going to pull it forward a little bit. Take our PVC out. Just make sure it's back far enough so it doesn't hit the lip of the pan. Let it down. And there you go. That's all there is to it. Now we're just going to... We're going to leave as much forward as we can because if it leaks, we want a good visual if there's water in the pan. So if the pan is like right up against the washing machine, you might not notice that there's any water in it. So this way we got a big area to be able to see if there's any water in the pan. So all you got to do is just hook up your hoses, put your drain back in the wall pipe, plug it in, and you're all set. Once you got it put back in, you got it all hooked up, go ahead and turn it on, run some water through it just to make sure that all your connections are solid and not leaking. Make sure your drain pipe is uh, staying in the drain tube in the wall. If you have a problem with the drain pipe staying in there, get a zip tie, tie it in up to one of the, the washing machine hoses just to keep it stable. This one, they had the drain pipe from the washing machine about two feet down the wall tube. You don't want to do that. You need what's called an air gap. In other words, where the water comes out of the tube behind the washing machine and the water that's in the pipe, there needs to be an air gap between that. Otherwise, it could suck water back through. So this pipe was so far down, it was sitting in the water that was down in the P-trap down below. Because as soon as I started to pull the pipe out, you could hear the water gurgling and draining out of the tube. So you only need it maybe six inches or so into the wall tube. Okay? Um, and then just zip tie it, make sure it's uh, stable so it doesn't pop out when it's draining. But yeah, don't shove it all the way down in there. You don't need to do that. You don't want to do that. You just need to make sure it's done. And then go ahead and wipe all your fingerprints and your mess up when you're done. Sweep the floor, wipe it down. In this case, this is a uh, closet with bifold doors. So I had to take the doors off to get the uh, washing machine out. So make sure you put the doors back on. And then we're done. That's all there is to it. Easy peasy. Good luck with your project. And before you leave, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you from the bottom of my heart for visiting my channel. This is a brand new channel that I'm just getting up and running. And as you can see, I only have a handful of content posted. But hopefully, one day I have so much content out there that you won't need to go anywhere else for your home improvement and repair needs. And one day when I have enough content, uh, maybe I can do this. Check out this other video of mine. Or click on this link to see what else I can do. Okay. Hey, hopefully it won't take too long to get to that point. But in the meantime, if you like what I'm putting out there, hit that thumbs up, like button down below, and subscribe to my channel. It goes a long way to help me create more videos to help you. These repairs are actually my business. I'm out there every day working these jobs, and when I do something that I think will benefit you to help you fix something or repair something or improve something around your house, that's when I tape it to get it out there for you. Now, if you have some ideas for other videos or you have some questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below so I can answer them. And once again, I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart and good luck with your projects.